they talk a lot about the behind the scenes and especially like you visit the farm, uh, one of their farms yes. and you learn about their farming techniques, which are just incredible. We'll talk a little bit about that today. What's behind these essential oils? It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 153. In the Hunt for Wellness podcast, we talk about mind, body, and spirit because that's what people are made of. They're made of a body, a mind, and a spirit. And we want each of those to be fully functioning, fully nurtured, to live a healthy, full, living your best life. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines producing great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. All right. What is behind these essential oils, especially this drink here? I love this little Ningxia drink. I mm. know, Ningxia Red, so good. How many essential oils are in Ningxia Red? There's Quite four. a few, isn't there? Four essential four? oils, yes. Awesome. We so are good. so stoked though, because we're <clears throat> yes. back just recently from the Young Living Convention. Yes. In Salt Lake City, we took the trailer out and we had a great road trip. It was awesome. It was awesome. A lot of fun. So beautiful to drive across America. Yes. But one thing that you learn when you go to the convention, and by the way, even customers can go to the convention. It's yeah. not just people in the business. Right. Is they talk a lot about the behind the scenes. And especially like you visit the farm, uh, one of their farms, yes. and you learn about their farming techniques, which are just incredible. We'll talk a little bit about that today. A sustainability. They came up with a new phrase that I think is just perfect. Farm to family. Yes. You know, you've heard of farm to table, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll get into some of that today, but pretty excited to find out what is behind these essential oils. Well, there's 30 years. Actually, there's yeah. more than 30 years. This but, was the 30 year convention though, wasn't but it? It's been 30 years. They've been Young Living Essential Oils. Yeah. And uh, Gary actually started planting uh, lavender back in 1989. Wow and doing some research before that. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while and young, Gary Young is the founder of Young Living Essential Oils and yep. really the pioneer, the right. modern pioneer of essential oils. Essential oils are old. Right. They were used thousands of years ago. Um, they were used in the Bible, ancient Egyptians, Babylonians. Um, they were put in tombs. Grave robbers took the essential oils because they were so powerful right. yeah that's how thieves came about yes so that's yes. what's behind thieves right the essential oils the plants they were yep. using the particular plants of eucalyptus and cinnamon right lemon and the other ones yeah. <laughs> they were putting a, them yeah. on themselves and robbing people that had the plague um and it did not they didn't Get die. Yeah, they didn't good. die That's like other awesome. people were. And they're like, what happened? Why didn't you die? You yep. know? So anyways, that's how thieves uh, came about that yeah. blend of essential oils to right. support our immune system and to keep us healthy. Right. We did a whole podcast episode over at yeah. uh, mm -hmm. We can link that in the show notes on thieves and the story behind it. We get in a little more depth, but what were your big takeaways from the convention? Cause you know, You've been in this a long time, right? Yes, I and, have. Uh, mm -hmm. But you learn something new every time you go there. It's really fun to go. It is. The, well, you see a bigger picture. You, you know, do. We're using these oils. We've been using them for every day, literally every single day yeah. for 13 some years. And um, supporting our health, our wellness um, all along the way with all of our children and ourselves. And we've shared them with so many people because... They've been so powerful. They They're, work. They work. They're yeah. so empowering to help people take care of their own health. Yeah. And, and in that time, Young Living has grown quite a bit too. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, what started out in the U.S. is now an international company. Yes. They ship to 181 countries. Wow. They have reached 12 million people. They have had over 2,000 products in their 
in their 30 years. Mm-hmm. Um, they paid 2 million people commissions. Just to share, just to tell other people. Yeah, just to Because they don't share, run the ads for that. It's, it's you telling of, somebody else and they give mouth. you a little commission. Yes. Um, they've sold 1.3 billion ounces of Ningxia Red and we're drinking a couple ounces right now. Yep. Made our little mocktail. <laughs> One billion four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so so good. I just I love hearing about Gary Young um, from Mary Young. Also, just the the commitment of this company. Gary said he never made an oil for a profit. He made it for a person. Mm. He always had a person in mind. Um, to help somebody that is what is really behind this company is helping people yes and they reiterated that again this time it's like this is about helping people right and you know this the this was the 30th and the the theme was like the legacy because Gary's passed Mm -hmm. away now but Mm -hmm. they exposed some of the people including his sons who are now doing some of the research and um, the guy that worked side by side with him for those many years, Rex, uh, Kidman, Rex you know, and who did the, the blending? Gary yeah. taught him how to yeah. do the blending. So, you know, and... the the legacy goes on, even though Gary's not around anymore. There's still, right. you know, products get introduced all the time. Right. But it takes a while, doesn't it, to get a product into it does. a form? It takes what they were saying is it takes about five years from mm. the time that they identify a plant that they want to make into an essential oil. And then they have to figure out uh, where are they going to grow it, and then they grow it, they distill it, they test it, they perfect it. And so it's five years from wow. the time they decide to do an oil till they get it into your hands. Yeah, it takes some time. Which, it's amazing. So they will never compromise on quality. And Mary Young said that she's never going to sell the company. She's yeah. not going to make it a public company where that then that's profit is the most important thing. Right. They're yeah. never going to do that. Never going to sell it to someone else. So we know that the quality is there and the quality is going to stay there. Yeah. Which is really good. And the emphasis on farming and farming best practices. They yes. do some of the most uh, really what I call progressive farming uh, techniques that are regenerative that are farming. Regenerative farming, yeah, and it's just so exciting to see, mm-hmm. you know, how they go about doing that, and you know, reusing things and not wasting things and not using certain chemicals. You know, everything's so natural. Right, it's really beyond organic, yeah. and they are going to be doing a regenerative farming um, symposium oh. in 2025. That'd be kind of fun. So. If you're interested in that kind of thing, I believe that is at the Mount Nebo Botanical Farm. They're also going to be doing an oils and animals conference um, at the Mount Nebo Botanical Farm, which is also in Utah. Yeah. So um, also they're concerned about the social impact of their farms. They have farms all over the world. All over the world, yeah. Uh, Some of the farm, most of the farms they own, but they also have partner farms. And they make sure that you know they're getting the right oil it's abiding by the seed to seal commitment of the right seed cultivated organically beyond organic regeneratively Mm -hmm. um distilling it testing every single batch of essential oils with many tests to be sure of its purity and its quality and if it doesn't meet those standards it's not used right and then um and then sealing it, that's the seed to seal. And it's not only Young Living owned farms, but also their partner farms and must abide by right. these same standards. And so they're concerned about the sourcing, the science, the standards, and the social impact. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're very concerned about human trafficking these days. And they have made sure that there is no human trafficking or modern slavery in their supply lines. Yeah. Well, they and they talked a lot about the Young Living Foundation, which is a whole separate thing, and their farm in Ecuador. And in Ecuador, they not only you know have this great farm, but they built a school and they sponsored a school uh, to for the local community. So like farm workers, you know, kids, 
and people in the local area, they really put a lot back into the community there instead yes. of just taking, just taking the plants. Nope, they're, you know, plus didn't you say that they, um, for every acre they harvest, they plant five? 10. 10, yeah. Yeah. So Their a lot of sustainability plant, ten, things yeah. going on. Back, putting 10 times back into the earth yeah. that, as they take out. Yeah. So it's really, really amazing. And I was just so encouraged and really wanted to share that. Yeah, for sure. And then um, they have a new blend, which Rex Kidman put together based on three oils that Gary had formulated. Valor, he formulated yeah. in 1990 for his own self yep. and just saw how it gave him the courage and the strength to face a very difficult situation. And then um, he he gave it to other people and was amazed about how to other people right. who he had actually formulated for himself. Then um, Highest Potential, uh, he formulated in 20, 2003. And then Shootran, um, he formulated in 2010. And so these three oils are blended together in this uh, Legacy 30 oil, yeah. which we have here. And um, it smells really good. It's, oh, it's so amazing. Kind of a floral and conifer aroma. Yep. Um, empowerment, it's like empowering you. Um, help you achieve your personal legacy yes. and embrace your true purpose kind of for strength and reaching your highest potential. So it's a fantastic oil. I'd highly recommend yeah, using that. Yeah, it smells that. great too. It does. The other thing that um, they put out was they put out this lavender legacy box. And if you're watching on YouTube a little bit like here so you can see the labels yeah. yeah if you're watching you can see this if you're listening you you can always go over to huntforwellness.com uh, this is episode 153 uh, and watch the video part but here we have this little collector's box with every lavender oil label it's changed over the years yes you know yes. trying to keep up and you know change the design and make it a little more contemporary looking and it's, it's really neat to see the progression it over the is. years starts with a white label plain mm -hmm. plain white um no image on it and then there's a little image of lavender and the font has changed a little bit then they've got the color mm -hmm. of lavender and that's changed a little bit and until we've got today's version of yeah. lavender and so um you get six bottles of lavender yeah. which is fantastic it's really neat and it's like you almost don't want to use them because they're so <laughs> neat to look at but you can definitely use them too. and then it's got the history yeah in um the cover yeah so it shows like the history of young living and lavender yeah. and and so that's really neat it's a nice gift too yeah and for lavender sure lavender can be used to support the skin to support relaxation and rest it's great to diffuse before mm -hmm. you go to bed or put on your wrists um so many uses you, it's so gentle you can use it on your face uh it's considered the swiss army knife of essential oils yes it is i think we did a podcast on that too we, we did if you so, go over to huntforwellness.com again uh i think it was just uh several episodes ago but we'll post that in the show notes here on episode 153 yeah and you can literally use it for just about every yeah. need so it's often the oil people start with you know when they don't know where to start you start with that mm -hmm. one because it can do so many things but you might, um, if you have only used non-Young Living oils, it's going to smell a little bit different from you or from other lavender oils because yeah. it is true lavender. It's pure, very pure. And um, most lavender is not 100% pure. In uh, some lavender is even made in a lab as a chemical and not grown. Yeah. So you need to watch out for that. Yeah. So this is pure grown lavender essential oil, which is fantastic wow anything else to add before we wrap up this legacy uh, episode about just some great things and we even started talking about in the coming up episodes we're going to talk about some of the new products but yes you know really it's about the company it's about right. the company behind them and there's some you know the farmers you know they bring in a lot of the farmers from the different farms the managers and yes. it's just great to see their commitment to quality 
And that's really what makes Young Living difference. That's the difference right. behind the scenes. Absolutely. And you can, we visited the Mount Nebo farm. I yep. went to the St. Mary's farm in Idaho. Um, you can go visit the farms yes. around the world yeah. and you are welcome to visit. Just check with them yeah. before the day because sometimes, uh, like when we had the convention, it was closed to outside people because yeah. there was already tons There's, of people there. Yeah, a bunch of people there. So um, just make sure that the day is open when you want to go visit. That's right. Yes. Awesome. Well, hey, this episode of Hunt for Wellness brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machine providing great water for your great wellness. Find out more at waterdistillers.com. And I'm so psyched up on the legacy of Young Living and some of the things we learned behind the scenes that I can't wait till our next episodes because we're going to be talking about some of the new products too, aren't we? Yes. So make sure you come back for the next episode of Hunt for Wellness.